Okay, while we're on the scener, <clears throat> oh man, it definitely got cold again. Dried back out, but I should have cleared my throat before I rehydrated a little more. Uh, anyways, fun with membranes. So, um, the 756, the, um, five, uh, excuse me, the three prawn plug finally came, um, in the mail today. And the seller's awesome. Listing Cells, I think, is, uh, the eBay seller. Really awesome. Sent me this one out super quick. Uh, gave me a return receipt for the five prawn one. And I'm almost debating that I might make an offer to purchase just so I have. Um, but I, I opened up the um, 756, and um, this is the first time I have, so it needs to be vacuumed. Um, this one came with a cabinet, but I donated it um, pretty much that same day. Um, didn't have the, the pedal controller. I did just plug in. It was kind of intermittent. The light was working, but I was like, uh, 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 uh. And this isn't the smoothest feeling machine, but it's it's not stock. So um, I'm guessing the motor probably needs to be first vacuumed out. Um, and then I'll check and see if I can get into the motor easily um, to get at those commutators to clean those up and the contacts. Because I'm guessing it's okay. I'm kind of a little gamble here, but I'm going to go ahead and just vacuum <clears throat> vacuum next and then um, oil. Um, yeah, I'll oil the underside. I suppose some of this is going to have grease points. I'll have to find a service manual. Um, but uh, mainly I wanted to kind of get in here quick just to see, uh, to assess the uh, motor, what uh, the ability of that is to be maintained um, easily. <laughs> kind of like a potted type device where um, it might not be as easy to, uh, you know, disassemble and uh, reassemble to use. Okay, um, I think that's about as far as I'm going to get. I'm, I'll pause it actually. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll pause and I'll get into the top side, do a little more video on that. Ah, hope you need the light. Um, yeah, she's a dry machine. I think on the underside, she looks pretty dry also. It's kind of interesting how that gear, I noticed that on the uh, 630, is that supposed to be loose like that? Or what's that going, what's that doing in there? I don't understand. But yeah, it looks like it isn't too stock. I haven't gone through all the different, um, I really should read. I don't know what, I guess, I guess it's just, the same. <laughs> there's not like other buttons. Yeah, looks, looks like really good range of motion. Of the settings, um, let's see, left, right, center homing, uh, stitch, oops, left, right, center homing, yeah, that looks good, um, stitch width, that looks good, um, stitch selection, I don't know without, so that's a push in and then rotate, this actually looks like it'd be a, a nice machine, um, it works okay. Stitch control. So stitch length. I don't really see much moving in there just quite yet. I'll study that a little more. Um, reverse looks like. Fine. Guessing that's in inch uh, stitches per inch. So fine. Then up to six. Some kind of buttonhole oh, on off. Oh. Just go all the way around. Off. Let's see. Off. Reverse. Um, off. Slow power. This was working when I had plugged in. Um, uh, I guess, you know, I'll, I'll plug it in real quick and just demonstrate. I just won't hurt anything. Um, well, I've got this out. And let's see. So it's slow. Fast. This, kind of, this is actually better. So something was kind of stubborn. Have to be had to be worked freer. I mean, I guess I need to get in that motor and clean those commutators out. Um, but it looks like this is gonna. This is dry. So she's really dry. She needs to be um, 
you know, she needs to be uh, uh, oiled up, lubed up. So I'll see what I can find for a manual. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this. Yeah, she's good. Uh, I, I almost think that pedal might be a little funky, a little fidgety, but that's, that's suitable. That's something I can get used to. And I'll mention um, to the seller also and then see what she'll offer for uh, by that other pedal also. So, um, I think that's about it. And, um, take care, be safe, and, uh, Christ be with you.